What's up? It's your girl Tasha Rushnick and I am back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about um, becoming a PMU, PMU artist. Um, and I'm going to talk about me as a um, P, PMU student. If you did not check my video a couple weeks ago where I posted about me going to Chicago and taking a permanent makeup class for eyebrows, um, go ahead and check that video out. Um, I will leave a link down below to that video. But in this video, we're just going, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about what an actual PMU artist is. And I'm going to give you, tell you about my class and everything that I experienced in my class. And then I'm going to also tell you about how my review, um, why I took the class, how I feel after taking the class, and how you can take the class. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a return subscriber, hey friend. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now let's hop right into the video. Now if y'all see me looking down, it's because I got my notes here. I have my notes. So I'll probably look down a little bit in this video. So hopefully you don't care because I don't. So how about we define what a permanent makeup artist is exactly? So a permanent makeup, makeup artist is someone who is applying permanent cosmetic products to a client's skin. What's trending right now is, is permanent makeup and lips, eyebrows, per permanent eyeliner, things of that nature. I took a class for micro shading or ombre powder brows, what it's also known as as well. That's kind of like a different type or whatever. So micro shading is semi-permanent makeup. It can last for up to either one to three years. It just depends on your aftercare, your skin type, and your lifestyle. It just depends on all those things. Um, so after your initial appointment, after you initially get your eyebrows done, then in six to eight weeks, you come back and you get a, um, you come back and get a touch up. And then after that, you can get your touch ups either yearly or as needed. Also annual touch ups are recommended, but also all results are different because everybody's skin type is different. So it just depends on how your brows are flourishing. I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between micro shading and micro blading. Also, I'll talk a little bit about combo brows as well because micro blading is not the same thing as micro shading. Okay, and combo brows is a mixture of the two procedures together. So during the micro shading process, a small machine is used to gently insert pigment into the skin, creating a soft and fully covered brow. No hair strokes are placed during this procedure. Versus during microblading, it involves making tiny little lines in the skin with a hand tool and ink, resulting in an eyebrow tattoo that looks like hair strokes. And I will post a couple different um, pictures of these different type, different styles of brows during this video so you guys can tell the difference a little bit. And now, like I said before, combo brows are just a mixture between the micro shading and the micro blading brows combined together. So if you see, see, now what I see, usually people have like the micro blading in the front of their brows and then the, the micro shading is kind of like towards the back. So it's kind of like, you know, creates that combo brow, I guess you know what I'm saying? I went to Miss Nicole J. Her, I'll leave her name in my description box down below. I went to her micro shading or ombre powder brows training class in Chicago. Um, she also has another page. It's her business is called Savvy Creations on Instagram as well. I'll link that down below as well. So my training for to get my certification for this was a two day training. Okay, so day one we learned about sanitation, brow mapping, shading, outlining. We touched base on color theory a little bit, not a lot. And we practiced on latex skins. Also, there was lunch provided and it was a very hands-on experience. And we were able to watch Miss Nicole do a, do a model right in front of us, which was super dope. Day two, we did our models. I will post a picture or a video of my model here showing how I did. You guys can please feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know how you think I did. Once day two ended, I received my certification for going to the class. Let me grab that for y'all real quick. Okay, so here is my certification right here. This is not ring light, but it's okay. So anyway, here is my certification for completing my two day training with Miss Nicole. So yes, sis is certified now to do ombre powder brows or micro shading brows. So as far as the cost of the class, which you guys might ask about that question, I'm not gonna go deep into how much the class costs because 
she has different packages i chose the diamond package which comes with different things but you can go to her website and you can look to see at the different packages and see what's included and you can just make your judgment judgment from there i'm not about to go into i paid this much money da, da, da. it doesn't matter i made my investment you decide to make your investment if you ask me it's a great investment okay now let's get into what i actually received in my little in my bag the day of my the first day of class we got a whole bunch of stuff here is the bag cute little black bag with the details that all my stuff came in um i took this class about maybe eight months ago now so the bag it's a, it's a little it's a little janky but i will show you guys what we got so i received a total of two machines my first machine that i've been using to practice um it is the savvy pro this is the box that it came in if you open this up i don't have any here but this let me show you can you grab my machine okay okay so here here is the first machine that i received it is the savvy pro it is not cordless it comes with a little wire so this is the actual machine in this paper right here. Um, and this is what it hooks up to. Um, this, y'all, this stays charged for, it stays charged for a while. Like I don't, I only have to charge this for like, I probably charge this thing like maybe once every couple of weeks cause the battery just doesn't die. And I practice weekly. So that shows you how good this machine is. So I'm gonna take this needle out and just like, show y'all the machine without the needle and stuff and how it comes so i'll take this off and put this so this is the machine right here let me take this needle out put it safely in the sharp spin so this is the machine here's the machine right here and here is the box that goes to the machine so this is the savvy pro machine I also got another machine. It's funny because I haven't even used this machine yet. I don't really know why, but I just haven't. It. It's called the Savvy Pixie Machine. I'm going to open this up and show you guys what it looks like. It's still here because I haven't even used it. So if you look here, this is so cute. Is that Tinkerbell? This is cute. So this is my Savvy Pixie Machine. This is my second machine that I got in my package that I picked for the class. Um, I'm gonna this is a wireless machine. I think I'm going to bust this machine out uh, this month. Like, I think I'm going to go ahead and bust this machine out this month because this is really cute and I, I feel that confident. This is the machine right here. It's wireless. As you can see, this is a wireless machine. And this is a second, looks like it's a second battery that comes with the machine. This machine is super cute. Super cute. Also, in the, in the bottom of this, if you can see here, little pamphlet right here because like i said i haven't touched this machine so it's still exactly how it was when i first got it so i'm going underneath and in this machine i have a box that says the power for the savvy pixie i'm not gonna take this out but pretty much this is my power source that i can hook up to the um wireless battery i can swap out my batteries and charge i make sure they're charged then another box in there was a box labeled the needles okay so these are one r needles with um 0 0.35 so opening this up i'm gonna take this needle out you can see here is here's that needle here come in the package so in my savvy pro box the needles came exactly like that in the box but since the class, I, I've ordered more needles. So I ordered like different types of needles. So I ordered more needles. So now I have these two packages of extra needles as well that I use my Cyber Pro machine. And yeah, so I want to say, looking at these, I want to say these are both the same, same size needle. So I want to say you can intertwine and use this needle with the savvy pro and use this needle with the savvy pixie i will find that out for you guys this month because i'm i'm gonna 
I think I'm gonna use, I think, oops. I think I'm gonna go ahead and bust out this machine, my Savvy Pixie this month, cause I'm feeling real good about how I am with my Savvy Pro. And I think I'm ready to go ahead and go wireless and just, you know, do my thing. So I'm just gonna put this all back in the box. How it came. Back in the box, okay. Let me just get my bag. Cause like I said, it's not organized at all. But we got a lot of stuff. So, here's, so we got a lot of these savvy mapping stickers. These are mapping stickers right here. I have a lot of these. So they really pretty much gave us a lot of stuff to pretty much start our own business and practice on a couple clients with. Which I love that. We this I order. I ordered this myself. These are just um clip cord sleeves that you need to put over your machine when you're working with a client. I ordered that. Let's see. It came with um three gel pens here. So so I use my gel pens when I am doing my mapping process to get everything just perfect straight lines. Um, you can also use concealer to uh, make those lines sharp as well. I'm just very good at using these gel pens. So we got those gel pens. We also got some savvy numbing cream. This is like numbing cream you start off with. We also got some, some brow prints. As you can see, I've been using these, practicing. We also got We also got, this is some um, Savvy Concealer. We got that as well. I'm gonna open this up. Just some concealer you can use for your brows. As you can see, I haven't even used this yet. I've been using my gel pens, okay? So we got that. We also got some brushes. I'm trying to find my brushes. We got a lot of, we, have, we got a couple of different types of brushes. Um, here's some brushes that I got as well. This isn't a brush. This is, oh, this, these are brushes. This is my white savvy pencil right here for when I'm doing my mapping. I can, um, this, I'll use this when I'm doing my mapping, my savvy white pencil. I also got a black one. Yes, here it is. Here's my savvy black pencil we got y'all it's nice a mess i have a lot of mapping string it's the black mapping string. i want to get the white mapping string but my package came with the um black mapping string when i took my class we also came with a bunch of these latex prints as these are all new these are all uh, no Got a lot of these latex skins I've been practicing on. I'm gonna show y'all some that I already been practicing. Don't judge me, y'all. Okay, practice is perfect, but put this down for a second. Here are some practice skins that I've been working on right here. <laughs> as y'all gonna see, it's different, but as y'all, if y'all look closely, okay, started from the bottom. Okay, started from the bottom. Now we are here. Look at that. Now we're here, okay. I've been practicing. And then here is just another another practice skin I've been doing. This is like, this is more of the practice skin that you use when you're doing your outlining. But I like this one to do my um, shade, my shading on as well, just because like it just shows me like what I'm messing up on and what I need to work on. So I practice on these a lot. So these are the two that I've been practicing on lately. What is it? I'm not sure that's in this box. So I showed y'all all of that. Okay. Oh. It also came with this, this, oh. it came with this little mannequin like latex head. So this is what I use when my boyfriend don't wanna let me map on him. <laughs> I put my stuff on here and I make eyebrows. I use my brow sticker. I line it up, I make it look real good. This is how I do my brow mapping. Like I said, when my boyfriend is unavailable, I use this, it's, I love this thing. What else? It also came with, a caliper this digital caliper is key but 
y'all i gotta get another one as you can see mine's it's not working i think maybe i just need to change the battery i'm gonna see i'm gonna do that you know what that's smart i'm gonna do that first i'm gonna change the battery first but i think my son broke it but this is key when you're mapping like this is key but love this thing as well so i think that is yeah, y'all. I think that's everything that came in my came in my bag. I got a lot of like for the amount of money that I invested in this class, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff, and I also um, the package that I got, which was the diamond package, included me being able to come back and take a refresher course, which I plan on going to take that refresher course here soon because I have to take it within like a year. In July be a year for me, so I'm gonna hopefully take that class here soon. Also, in class, we got this Savvy Creations, the ultimate guide to ombre brow slang. This gold, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about that. So how can you become a PMU artist if, if that's what you wanna do? First of all, you need to pick a training, okay? Get online, find a trainer. You have to do your research because um, a lot of people are trying to train people and they're not even fully trained yet. So you don't want to get duped. So you definitely want to make sure you go out and do your research and pick the right person. I've been following Miss Nicole for years. I've been looking into this for years. So I've been looking at her work for years. And she has just been completely consistent throughout the whole time. And that everything she does is fire so of course i want to go to a teacher who can teach me how to become this fire so i did that okay so pick a training i think people are offering like virtual trainings now as well but i'm a hands-on person so i took a hands-on class like i said i definitely recommend if you live in chicago or atlanta she has classes in atlanta as well so you take your class whether that be a two-day class three-day class everybody teaches differently you will go and you will take your little two-day class learn your stuff and then you'll be certified it sounds easy right honestly the process is a little easy right what the the kicker is after so after you take your class you like oh i'm ready i'm gonna take a model da, 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 blah blah let's get them ready okay since you can do that you 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 can totally do that sis but you want to make sure you're ready <laughs> okay make sure you're ready so i would suggest that you practice 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 everything practice a lot and also join a lot of facebook groups because they help a lot like all your fellow peers everybody going through what you're going through like it's really helpful because you you will be you sometimes you get discouraged you'll go to these artists and they've been doing this stuff for years there's no way you can compare your work to somebody who has been doing this for years just remember they all started from somewhere just go back and look at their first brow you will see they've been practicing and working their butt off and that's why they slay all day okay so after you practice a lot you can go ahead and contact your local health department so that you can go ahead and find you a um, bloodborne pathogens class and that class is about four hours is i think it's about 30 bucks it's not that expensive but you need that so call your health department and get on and get on that asap after your class after that um so tattoo licensing dif differs from state to state so you'll have to just talk to your health department and they can tell you everything that you're going to need if you want to practice micro shading micro blading ombre brows combo brows if you want to practice any permanent makeup stuff contact your health department and they will let you know what you need to get started and i just want to go ahead and say this now you do not need to be an esthetician or you do not need your cosmetology license to be a permanent makeup artist the that's because and that is because the when you're doing like i'm i did brows so i'm gonna talk about brows when you're doing these procedures you're using your machine and you're going into the epidermis versus going into the dermis of the skin which that's why it qualifies as like a tattoo as like qualify you as like a tattoo artist like i said just talk to your health department and they will tell you everything that you need to go ahead and get your business started so finally i want to tell y'all my reviews on becoming a permanent makeup artist um I'm really happy that I made this decision to become, um, to get certified in micro shading or ombre powder brows. I literally, I fell in love. Like once I took this class and I found everything out and I came back home and I practiced, like I really fell in love 
with this y'all so i really cannot wait to go and take my refresher class and start taking more models get more people get my business started and get my clientele up so if you were if you were not sure before sis i'm telling you now go ahead find you a training and get yourself certified okay it's as simple as that um highly recommend taking miss nicole's class i love her um other people i've seen on instagram ashley kent she's good she's she's good i'm sorry that was an insult she's fire as well i think she just started doing in-person classes so if you were in i think dallas texas or mansfield texas that's your girl also another one that i follow heavy is the luck the lux the lux lab on instagram she's fire as well so those three ladies are three ladies that i follow so if you want to go take a class and you're in those states cities look into those three ladies so um i think that's it for the video y'all if i forgot anything or if you would like to ask me any questions don't forget to leave a comment down below and i will definitely answer the questions to my best ability don't forget to like this video check my other ones out as well okay comment down below and subscribe to my channel and like always i will see y'all in the next one